Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. This is Ed Frolish, and you're watching my channel, Ocean Deep Fishing. And today we're heading back over to Melbourne to the Yagali Causeway Bridge, and we're going to try fishing once more. Uh, we went there last week and we had a lot of luck on just catfish, but I'm hoping today, since I've learned the bridge a little better from last week, we are going to um, fish a little different with some uh, different rigging and we're gonna try to get some live shrimp today, which we were unable to last time. And if we can see some mullet, we're gonna cast net some mullet. Um, use some uh, fresh mullet pieces and if they're small enough we'll even use some live mullet and free line one so anyway we're going to pick you up when we get back over there stick around it's going to be a whole lot of fun today hey guys we just got here at the bridge um went and got some bait waiting in the car till this passes and then we're going to head to the bridge so you can see it is raining that's where we're heading down that way as soon as the um weather clears hopefully it won't be too long okay guys the sun's back out you see the rainbow and uh we are heading out got the wagon got the wagon and everything all set up um so we're gonna go for our journey that's what i got i didn't bring the tackle box today i just brought a couple um small things here you can see okay here's the bridge we gotta go under we gotta duck a little bit the beginning all right that was a little better that was a little better than last time all right so let's head down we're gonna go all the way to the end hopefully we have some luck today we'll be fishing right down in there around here and on the other side of the pilings over here again my target is some panfish maybe mangrove snapper all right guys on this one i'm using this um using a spinning reel it's just a, a walmart brand it's got um 30 pound test mono and i'm going to use a um a banana this is called a banana jig lays on the bottom i'm going to put a, a piece of cut bait on there and toss it out and uh, see what we can catch on there and i'm going to put the hook right in there and come out the skin make sure you don't have a scale on the tip of the um, hook because that will prevent a hook set all right and we're going to just we're just going to toss it out there see what happens while we uh, fish around the piling for some other stuff all right just way out there just gonna let it uh, sink a minute put it down test your drag drag seems to be uh, pretty good so we're gonna set it way back here just so actually I'm gonna set the drag a little lighter and we're setting the drag so light guys so the um, fish doesn't pull this over the railing if we get a fish all right so my other my other rig is going to be a circle hook number one hot circle hook and i've got um, some split shots here and we're going to go down beside the piling here and see if we can't get something to bite oh yeah nice nice size shrimp here and we're gonna fish right down here straight down hits the bottom just reel up a little bit and wait for a bite okay guys I'm setting up my other rod while I'm waiting on that one um, I'm just setting it up it's gonna be a, a circle hook one knot circle hook and I'm just doing a shrimp. Um, I got a monofilament. I got a um, 30 pound leader hooked to a 10 pound test braided line. And um, there's no hardware on it. Just uh, I tied mono to um, braided line. And we're gonna just toss it down here and just let it float. It's gonna lighten the drag a little bit. 
There we go. All right. Oh, I got. Looks like I got something working on this line down here. Sometimes it gets crazy here when you got three lines out. Oh, I think I got. Oh yeah, I got a fish on this one. All right. Let's tighten the drag. This was a free lining shrimp. What do we got? Ah, my favorite. A friggin' catfish. That's what we got. A friggin' catfish. All right. So let me get my uh, D hooker out to get this sucker off. All right. Well, let's see. I got something nibbling on this one. Got something nibbling on this one. Oh, I got a fish on here too. A damn catfish again. Friggin' catfish. Are a pain in the butts. They are a pain in the butts. At least he didn't steal my shrimp. Oh, we came off that easy too. Drop it down here again, see what we get. We got a fish on. Oh, damn. Oh no, wasn't a catfish. It's a mangrove snapper, but he's too small. Yes, sir. All right, let's throw him back. Whoops. There he goes. I even have a piece of shrimp left. Okay, guys, I'm gonna free line this one again over here. So it's next to me. We're just gonna free line him, let him sink. Lighten the drag, there we go. Okay. Yep, I got I got a fish on here. Oh see what it is. I don't feel the catfish shake yet, but it is. It's a sail cat. These are slimy bastards, but they're, um, if you're going to eat a catfish, they're better. They're the better ones to eat if you're going to eat one. Uh, and he left my bait. I got too many poles in here. With too much action going on. Got a fish. I think it's a, I don't know, it's a catfish. I thought it was a mangrove snapper. All right, let's get this sucker off. All right, I got a fish. That's a catfish. Feel the head shake. <clears throat> Where is he? Where is he? I switched over. I'm going to start just fishing with two rods. Three is just going crazy. Everybody's biting. I can't set the hook. So we're just going to fish with this one. I'm going to put a split shot on here. Let me grab a split shot and uh, slow the pace down a little bit because um, they're eating too much bait and I'm not catching anything. So. Maybe I can uh, get a better yield if I'm just fishing with the line. I'm going to put a little, I don't know even what ounce it is, just a little split shot. There we go. Just to help it get down quicker. And see if we can't get one of these boogers. Now, I just had a nice bite on that last one. He I guess his teeth got above the hook, bit the line, took the hook and everything. So this is a little, this leader's 30 pounds, so it might hold up a little better. You can feel it frayed with its teeth. We're running out of friggin' bait. I should have got another, should have got a few more dozen shrimp. Okay guys, a yellowtail jig. I want to put a piece of shrimp on it. Make a difference on hooking up with these mangrove snapper. They're biting, but they're not hooking up. Now right, let's try it out. See what happens. All right, we got one now. I think it's a good size snapper too. Oh yeah, this one might. Ah, I don't know. We'll see. Nope, nine. Nine-incher, 
Okay, guys, I got a fish. I got a fish on this one. I think it's... I think it's a catfish. Feels pretty big, whatever it is. Big and heavy. Don't go to the bridge, don't go to the bridge piling. No, 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 no. What's going underneath there? Oh, it's coming out, it's coming out. Okay, cool. This one. hard I'm not sure what it is <clears throat> ah it's a big mass of catfish it's a sail cat oh yeah peel peel off the line oh lordy bridge net but I really don't want to use it. Woo. There that is. Look at that. Cut myself there. Yes, sir. Look at that baby there. That is a big catfish. Let's get a, uh, let's see. Five and a half inch catfish. All right, let me see. We can get that. I got it out. So anyway, let's uh, see if I can get him back in the water. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Go. Woo. Doesn't want to go. Uh. Well, that was exciting. That was a big boy. Um, you can you can keep them and eat them, but um, I'm not. They're slimy. They're going to get my whole box. I got my lunch and everything in there, so I'm really looking for mangrove snapper or some smaller fish. Let's see. Maybe that's better. I, I don't know the wind direction. I'm trying to block the wind, but anyway, yeah, he was a big boy. Um, let's put the lines back out and see what else we get. Be nice if we get a nice black drum, but anyway, uh, let's rebate, see what happens. Okay, guys, look at this little trout. He's a little guy, man. I don't think I've ever caught one that small. Let me let him go, get him back in the water. All right, there he goes. Well, huh. That's the first. I never thought I'd catch a trout here. Let's try the headpiece. Oops. All right, just like that, guys. Oh. Looks like I got something. 
right guys, Got another mangrove snapper. It's pretty. Pretty fish. See those teeth there. All right, let them go. Only a couple shrimp left. And then we're gonna have to start using squid or go home, I guess. It's been a, it's been a fun day. Um, just kind of disappointed I haven't caught anything to bring home again, but I could have brought that sail cat home, I guess. I just, they're slimy. I didn't really feel like dealing with all the slime in the buckets and the uh, cooler and stuff. So, all right, let's send this back down. Nice mangrove snapper, but it's little. Man, you catch a big one, they're gonna fight like crazy. This is just a little one. This is just a little one. He's, uh, he's going crazy. But they're on the move again. There he is again, another little one. He just pooped all over my hand. All right, there you go, buddy. Grow up, get bigger. All right, guys, and this is uh, this is fun fishing, like for the whole family. You can bring the kids out here, even though you're not catching anything to take home. Um, it's a good way to introduce your kids to fishing. A lot of action. Looky here, guys. Now that that is a grunt. We caught him. Ow! Dang it caught them in the same place as we did the mangrove snapper and we are going to put him on a bigger hook right now so hang on a minute we're gonna put him in there for a minute Look, I think I'm gonna put him on here like a stronger line on here uh, hang on a second here I'm just deciding on what pole Put them on here because I've got um 30 pound test line. Yeah, I got 30 pound test line, and then I got um I think it's a 20 pound braid on here. So I think I'm gonna put him on here. So I'm gonna use that circle hook, and we're gonna free line them just out. You can see where the sun and the shade kind of come together. Um, we're gonna try over there because the um, a lot of times the fish hide in the shade right along the shades edge where the sun's shining try to camouflage and ambush their baits as they come through all right let's go grab that fish where'd he go there he is I'm gonna I'm gonna hook him right in the back. Right in the back dorsal fin. So you can see how I got him hooked. Right there, we're gonna let him swim. Free line. If that ends up catching a big fish, I've got my, um, it's actually a crabbing net, but you can use it for a drop net. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. I'm going to take this hook on do this. This line is to my bait bucket. I'm going to put that hook on there and drop it down. If we end up catching a big fish to bring them up. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me put another piece of mullet on here. I got one small piece of mullet left. You know, I'm going to put it right down, right down here, next to this pylon. 
Oh, where'd it go? Shit, I didn't see where it went. Let's try that again. Alright, there we go. down here a minute. There we go. There we go, another one. He's a little bigger, but still ain't gonna make the... Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, shit. He's gonna have a headache going into that one. I don't know what it is. This is on the live on the live grunt I had. I have no idea what it is. Could be another big ass catfish. I'm not sure. It's probably what it is is a catfish. That's all you're catching in here. Either that or I'm thinking it might be a skate. I see leader up. Oh, I did see leader. Let's pull it back down again. Let's see. Uh, almost got to see what it was. Yep, big old catfish again. Okay, guys. There's another catfish. A big one. Another sail cat, and the hook is right here too, right on the edge. Look in his mouth. He's got a big mouth in there. Anyway, let's get a measurement. On. The other one was um, 25 and a half inch. Let's see. Uh, that one's about 22 see 22 to the tail right there yeah 22 and they call them a sail cap because of this right here see that sail that's why they call them a sail cat. And these are good eating. Like I said, I just don't want to take them. Get a good look at them. guys that was fun that was on a live grunt that live grunt i showed you we caught that's what he ate all right um all right let me re-rig i gotta try to catch another bait for that or i'm gonna put a squid on so catch you guys in a minute hey, i got a puffer fish i got a puffer fish oh. Okay guys, it's a spiny puffer fish. Hopefully you guys can see that. A spiny puffer. Alright, let's let this guy go. He was hungry. So we'll let him go. There he goes, back home to live another day. Okay guys, we're going home. Clouds are building up out there. And uh, got a 
a long walk back to the car yet. Got to go underneath that bridge. Yeah, guys, check out that sky, man. It's ready to getting ready to open. Nice and sunny here. I'll bet I'm just going to have enough time to uh, get this stuff in the car and get it move on before it uh, comes down. We caught so many fish today. Um, there's a lot of them that are on film. Some of them I didn't because the camera went dead. I had to lay the pro GoPro down. At one time, I had three rods going off all at the same time. It was chaotic. And those catfish were huge. That biggest one, I bet you, went about five and a half pounds. But we're fishing at the Agali Causeway Bridge in Melbourne, Florida. Um, it's right over the causeway. If you're coming from the west, you have to go over the bridge, make a U-E, and come back to the bottom of the bridge. Um, and you can walk underneath there to get to the dock. So anyway, we had a great time. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, would please give us a thumbs up. That tremendously helps out our uh, channel. Uh, to get more views and for YouTube to um, put us up in front uh, so more people can view our channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for, man? Subscribe. This is a great channel. Subscribe to that button below. I do appreciate it. We are up to 129 subscribers as of right this minute. I'm looking to hopefully get to 200 by the end of the year. So I need your help, please. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button to let you know the next time that we upload. And by all means, guys, until I see you next time on the water or on a dock, tight lines, everybody. Take care and God bless.